Folks, Justin here. We are going to be hopping on the ladder with our Monastery of Despair list in this uh, strange little part of the April season between uh, the start of the season and the launch of Fall of the Dark Brotherhood. We're just going through some decks that we wanted to play. So far we have hit uh, Doomcrag Warrior, a list we got from Yakiniku, and um, our classic Hist Scout deck. Now we're doing one of my favorites uh, for a long time now. Hold my camera over here. Uh, the Monastery of Despair list, right? So inspired by a game I had with Maricon months ago, uh, he gave me his list, and then I made a bunch of changes. Probably made it worse. Uh, but here's the list. We've got a bunch of one ofs, fun ofs in this case, because this deck is nothing but fun. Anyway, I'm really excited to uh, take it onto the ladder, see how it does against the Warrior Menace, which is everywhere right now. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna make it happen. I am wearing a clip-on tie today, another part of the Grandpa Andre collection. Uh, that I got from him, and uh, so yeah, let's rock and roll. Um, playing against Bist, if I had to guess, guess the class, I would guess Warrior. Um, pretty much every game of mine so far today has been against Warrior. Oh, they're playing ma uh, Battle Mage. I think actually Prophecy Battle Mage might be the best meta pick right now you could make, um, because the warrior deck uh, kind of depends on um, Black Room Necromancer and Triumph of Yarl to refuel. And if, you, uh, if you're playing Prophecy Battle Mage, you're not going to let that happen. Just tell me who needs Okay, we got a Mage Slayer. Hello. I love how the welcome, of course, comes after the, uh, the aggressive early creature. All right, Bist, what do we got now? My three drops, I mean, they're functional, but they're not super exciting. At least this tells me this is Prophecy Battle Mage, which, uh, you know, knowing it's half the battle, right? Okay, that procs. I swing. Do I play Ravenous Hunger or House Kinsman? About the same... This dies to Sharpshooter Scout, so... They cannot hope to Play it like that. Hopefully he breaks a rune here, we get a card. Best case scenario, obviously a Prophecy, maybe a Moonlight Werebat would be pretty nice in, the, in this match. And then we swing back. <clears throat> and we got a couple options for four, four drops. High Defender's pretty good, too. Silvernard Tracker is not going to make anything happen. Afflicted a lit. So he is going to get a prophecy here, unfortunately. Uh, there's Odeving. Um. Yeah, I think Hive Defender, even though it's going to die, I think Hive Defender is the play. Reaper obviously would have been spectacular there, but couldn't make that a thing. So in our tracker, though, a card I like a lot. Probably pretty good in the warrior matchup, too, because uh, they have some, in purple, you know, you have some large uh, toughness creatures. we got to cast out. So now we need to punish him with a prophecy. Fingers crossed. No such luck. Nothing will hold me back. Coming at Marauders. This guy's all in. Oh, man, where were you, loyal house, Carl? Just try again. Hopefully he doesn't have another cast out. I think I mentioned on Reddit recently that putting bounce in the most aggressive color is a huge departure, you know, from like the uh, the color theory in um, Magic: The Gathering, where bounce is in the least aggressive color as a control element. And here it's uh, in Elder Scrolls Legends, it's a tempo thing. It's about um, making sure your opponent can't claw back into the game, which is an interesting choice. We don't have a lot of great plays next turn either, unfortunately. Um, we didn't draw nearly enough of our anti-aggro stuff to really nice. make this work. Looks like we are going to get a rune broken, though, which is nice. Unless he has Crushing Blow in his hand, in which case we uh, are going to 11 and we're probably going to lose. We stand united. Okay. 
Again, no prophecy. But I can give the house kinsman guard. No, I can't. Um, this sucks. Ravenous hunger, Varanus courier. My sword has I think is the play. Um, we're not taking out any of his creatures, but we're preventing three, and then we can swing into one of these and uh, leaf lurker that down. But we might also just be dead. That is the nature of this deck. Come at me. Yep. These words are mine. Yep. Again, no prophecy. Do you have the ping effect? It's going to basically determine whether or not we have a chance. You got the harpy. Well, we have a reaper for that. So we're still actually in a horrible position because we can't uh, gain any life now. Cycling that. Because you have to swing here, right? We can post up guards. My arrows shall fly true. There's the sharpshooter scout. Are you gonna swing face? <laughs> Come at me. Okay. There's Manticora. Yeah! There's a harpy. So we need him to not draw cast out. Uh, because we're playing Sench Tiger. What have we here? All right, do you have the bounce spell or the lightning bolt? Actually, lightning bolt wouldn't kill us, although it would kill this. You got another cycle for it. <laughs> because we're we're getting to the point where we're pretty solid, right? Because we can just lay down guards everywhere. That might be it. That puts us to one. So now we're dead to lightning bolt, unfortunately. We need to actually kill off our own house kinsman, but that puts us to four and still did the lightning bolt. Yeah, you got it, man. We are at one. Dead to lightning bolt, crushing blow, charge creature. Okay. Cast out, like, everything. Okay, now I'm waiting to die. I'm waiting for the emote, which will signal that I'm about to die, right? We can Manticora, I mean, you know, for days. Yeah, you got it, man. Um, but what we really need is a Quinral Perkler. <laughs> hey, Alter. Alright. And unfortunately, being that this is Prophecy Battle Mage, uh... <laughs> his ability to... Oh, perfect time. Jarl. In the Lightning Bolt, I assume. Yep. Their defenses will crumble. Okay... We have two house kinsmen, so is there a way we can get out of lightning bolt range? That's six, and then we, it leaves us with five magicka. So we swing here, play two of these, and play a hive defender. That's seems unnecessarily risky. Um, we need to get a house kinsman down. They cannot hope to outwit me. You can't escape. The forest is my strength and my courage. Okay, now if we can go up six life, I'd feel a little more comfortable. So we need to survive this turn, and then we might be able to make this a thing.
And we'll be giving him a prophecy, but I mean, we. Oh well. Um, it's that or die. Oh, so it's a lightning bolt. No, maybe not. That's a lightning bolt. Or a triumph of your <laughs> It's a lightning bolt. Is that last card? That's definitely a play. We don't. I can't kill both of my kinsmen anymore. Hope to outwit me. Hmm. Oh, we are dead you to so many things now. Fixed. Oh my god! We got the concession from the Prophecy Battle Mage. <laughs> that was a 12 minute long game. That's actually longer than the combined last 10 games that guys played. Okay, well, let's play one more. Man, playing this deck keeps you on the edge of your seat the entire time, right? It is a, um, you know, it's not a tier one deck. <laughs> you know, I played it to Legend 7 or something like that for a while, uh, a season or two ago, because I, I found it really amusing to take Spider Lair up that far on the ladder, because Spider Lair is in the deck. But, uh... It is not uh, for the faint of heart because you you constantly find yourself in situations where you think you're gonna lose. Okay, we're playing against Footfalls, playing Warrior. Okay, let's keep an anti-aggro hand. Um, Bludgeoning Tribune is a little greedy. All right, we got Ungolum on turn one, which is nice for future altars if this is a little slower of a Warrior deck. We got a House Kinsman on two if we need. Should be pretty good. And no turn one play from our opponent, so either just not the ideal draw or not as aggressive a deck as it could be. Man together, orcs. Orcs. Um looks like a great draw. <laughs> For the black Obviously you want to keep the orc player off of orcs going into turn four so that they can't um That's great. I so they can't the play uh, waiting. their orc. Um, they I'm sorry. The uh, butcher me. that becomes 6 5 if you control another orc. Um, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Awesome, so we're going to clear the board and lay down a hive defender. Do I want to give this drain and just go up a lot? Yes, yes I do. Burn it all to the ground. Oh, too. We. Ah. Okay, so this should make it a little harder for him to trigger his um, yarls and necromancers. By Arcade's beard, the walker watches will be over me. Yeah, I'm not concerned about your actions cards. What have we here? <laughs> we are getting dumb lucky this game. I actually think I just go ahead and play it like I'm in no rush here. Waiting. An unfortunate mistake. I'm not sure it's a mistake. No prisoners. And I'll offer the trade here, like I don't I win the late game. So let's just get there. Dark moment for you. Maybe a pyromancer. Been too long since I've embraced my rage. Okay, 
Okay, we can Murkwater Witch execute this. What did he get back? I didn't, I wasn't paying enough attention. Um, so... We swing. Witch. Execute. Highwayman. <laughs> Total domination. I feel like in the battle of unrefined list versus... Uh, sort of, but sort of bad deck piloted by somebody who knows how to run it. Yeah, you gotta kill that. Um, advantage usually goes. Weird list. Piloted by somebody who knows how to play it. Yeah, we're just gonna keep going. I mean, we only have one assassin left in our deck, which is, you know, like a. What kind of problem is that? So when our altar comes, we sacrifice this guy and we get that engine going. But I mean, you know, with Odaving, Manticora, Marak, like all that stuff in this deck, been like. Too long since I've embraced my rage. Okay, that could bring him back in this. And he got back the other militant chieftain, so. Still go. We stand united. So I'm not necessarily gonna win this one. <laughs> I'll keep it at three toughness when um, when he plays the second one, but it won't let him kill it before he plays the next one, so he can't just chain him back and forth. Been too long since which is of course the concern. Gets back work clan shaman. His value engine. There's the butcher we were talking about. His value engine is a live killer. So we swing. Perfect. There's our altar. I lurk in the shadows, waiting. Hey, Marak, we can play you next turn. I don't know if you know this, but we are about to become an orc master ourselves with a Bankrai Butcher. Um, we're going to take 15 damage here, so we might be dead. But Sorrow of Revenge is a silence magnet. I hear it makes for a good mum fight target too. A little distraction might prove useful. The guys got butchers. The longer the unity, the sweeter the victory should be good. Okay, I think we're doing okay. Band together, orcs. I mean we could draw. Another altar. So, what do we do here? We steal this. We, s we swing into this, steal this. We don't really want to sacrifice that. It is huge. We're not using altar this turn, it looks like. Behold my <sighs> Maybe we sacrifice Marak just to get the engine moving. You cannot hope to run destiny. <laughs> um, I think, I mean, like, if we get Broom and Profiteer or a guard creature, that's great for us, right? So, yeah, let's sacrifice this. Okay, I'll take that. Reaper's great. Reaper means I swing. Well, I still, I can't dilly-dally with taking damage, right? Sure, I can. So, 9, 16 damage coming at us. Not great. Not great at all. <laughs> did you ever? Did you draw a crushing blow? The forest is my strength and my courage. If you did, then we made a colossal mistake. Okay, so how do we not die here? Um. Is there a way to survive where we play Profiteer, Burglar? I mean, we could play Reaper, Burglar. I think we die, though, because of this. So, we Manticora... No. I think whatever we do has to involve Broom Profiteer and leaving that alive. There's a plan. There's always a plan. The 
Rest is my strength and my courage. Blood and honor! Um, I think we're dead actually. No, no we're not. We got a one. We got a one because he has to swing like this. Oh my god, we are dead. We are dead. I screwed that up completely. I had every opportunity to not die and I screwed up. Well, we were dead either way, but... Awesome. I'm glad the guy friend requested me in the middle of the game too. I'm sure that's uh, genuine and <laughs> not going to be full of profanity. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I mean, the deck's, you know, like I said, the deck is super complicated, and I screwed that up. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you all on the ladder, hopefully here in a day or two now. We will have the uh, expansion out, and I am as, uh, hopefully you're as excited as I am to play some, some new cards. So, see you all then.